Hi, welcome to our masterclass. Today I'm going to explain how to make a nutrient solution. As a matter of fact, how to make a mineral nutrient solution. If we make use of mineral nutrients like terra, cocoa or hydro, then you can keep a stock solution for two weeks. But if we want to make a mineral organic solution by adding rhizotonic, canazyme or boost, we can only keep it for one week. Of course, before starting to make a solution, first we have to check the temperature of the water itself. It should be staying between 18 and 22 degrees Celsius. For that, we can use of the temperature meter, which has an outside sensor, adding it to the water to check it. Always check even later on if you want to water the plants. Before you make the nutrient solution, you have to look at the plants. These plants are in vegetative phase number one. That means he is still making leaves, but no flowers are seen yet. This basilicum is also in vegetative phase one, but will always stay in that phase. So we check our grow schedule and we go to the second line. On that grow schedule, you can see what you have to add to your solution. We always start with the mineral nutrients. Because we grow on cocoa, we have two bottles, cocoa A and cocoa B. Experienced growers can add in the stock solution immediately the right amount. But for a starter, we recommend we add in 80% first and at the end, the last 20%, so they never overdose the solution. We start shaking the bottles. Actually, it doesn't matter if you start with A or B, but always shake it. It's quite liquid, so in a few seconds, it's done. Although you can make use of the reservoir, it's more precise for smaller quantities to use the other side of the bottle. By opening it, we can add the right amount in this way and add it to the solution. In this case, we had to give 20 mils. So, steer the solution with a plastic stick and add it to the solution. Always steer well, especially when you add the other nutrients in. The second bottle we're gonna make use. In this case, it's the bay. You can see it on the color. Also, we have to shake quite well before use. And we have to add exactly the same amount. So 20 mils in this case. You can add them in. And in theory, you reach the EC level at this moment already. Although we still add some other ingredients in. If we add the other ingredients in, we always do it in a certain uh, kind of following order. We start with rhizotonic, after that canazyme, and after that one boost or even PK1314. Especially the first one to take rhizotonic is important because it's an alkaline product. It will increase the pH a little. Don't do it in an other way in following order. Otherwise, sometimes you get a milky fluid and then you have to steer quite heavy to bring it into the solution again. After adding all ingredients into the solution, we can check if we did the right thing. For that, we need a EC measure equipment. By putting the sensor in the solution and steer it, we can start reading the number. And according to the growth schedule, I should make an EC of 1.5 because we are in vegetative phase number one. According to this meter, we did the right way. 
So now I can go to the next step, finishing the nutrient solution, correcting the pH. Because we grow on cocoa, we always correct the pH with pH minus grow. Don't use pH minus bloom because it can give precipitation in the solution. In this case, we have pH minus pro, which means it's high concentrated. Of course, I can try to make the solution by dripping in drop by drop in that way, but so strong, so sometimes it goes too fast. It's better that we dilute it first in another cup. So we add a certain amount of liquid in this measuring cup. Then we dilute it, for example, 10 times. And now we can pour it in little by little, but we have to look to the pH level. A pH meter is always protected because it's a very sensitive sensor. If we put it in the solution, always steer it, we can see that the pH is out of range. It's too high. For cocoa, it should be between 5.5 and 6.2, but in the vegetative phase, we know it's always better to make it a little bit lower. So we have to add pH minus little by little and always steer in between. We add a little and steer. We go on till the pH reaches the number of 5.8 in this case, because we grow on cocoa. We are on 6.3 now, so we have to go on. And as you can see, at this moment, we made the solution in the way how it should be. So, this stock solution is now ready for use. Of course, if you're a little bit more experienced, this goes way faster as we did uh, on uh, this scene. Nevertheless, if we're gonna water the plant, always check the solution again. It can change in temperature, it can change in EC, it can change especially in pH levels. And then you have to correct it. It's also important that the stock solution stay in movement because all the ingredients are more heavier than water, so will sink to the bottom. Of course, I can steer it before I start to water, but more easy is to make use of a small recirculation pump in your stock solution. Cover it so light will not enter your solution. Otherwise, the changes in pH and EC becomes bigger. I hope with this video, you know now how to make the nutrient solution.